Hey everyone, welcome back to another video of Red Dead Redemption 2. This is episode 4. Um, we're just gonna probably get Arthur straight to a mission. Um, we're gonna do Mary as we and then we'll help Micah. Um, yeah, so uh, Mary is all the way up. Um, yeah, so we're gonna go to her, this mission, and see where we get up to after this. Um, I have just, my internet have has been lagging a little bit, so, hopefully it doesn't ruin this video, but I've been playing Fortnite with Bad Boy for life. Um, and, um, it's been really bad there, so. another episode of Red Dead for today. Okay, let's go. Let's go to Mary. Come on, there's gotta be a fight every night in that shithole. Yeah, okay, boy. So let's just go to Mary. Oh god, oh. Mine's gone off. Okay, we're here. Let's go talk to Mary. And yeah. Okay. I think this is where we save her brother. Sure. Yes? I'm sorry I didn't mean to disturb you, ma'am. Is Mrs. Linton in? I'll go see. Hmm. Bum, 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 bum. A collar for you. <clears throat> Hello, Arthur. Mary. Oh. I heard you and your friends was around. I. Okay. Where's um? Where's what's his name? Died. Well, I'm sorry to hear that. Yeah, me too. Me too. Happened a while ago. Pneumonia. Bad business. Sure. So, uh, well, you've been... <clears throat> you've been made a widow and you come here looking for me, is that it? No, ain't like that, Arthur. Huh. Okay. Listen, Arthur, I... I'm... My family. I need your help. You mean the family that always looked down on me? And you want me to help? It's my little brother, Jamie. Mm. I always liked Jamie. At least compared to the rest of them. <laughs> He's broken Daddy's heart. Daddy has a heart. Don't make me beg you, Arthur. <laughs> my money, my life. Me. I wasn't good enough. I'm sorry. We need your help real bad. Little Jamie's joined the Chelonians. 
that strange <laughs> religious order. Good for him. They're quite mad, Arthur. They'll kill him. You're the only person he'd listen to. So, I'm too rough to marry into your family, but it's okay to ask me to help in saving your family. I'm sorry. I understand if you don't want to help me, but... But I think of you often. A long time ago now. I'm begging you, Arthur. I say let Jamie live Jamie's life and not the nightmare that his daddy dreamed up for him. Jamie's so innocent, Arthur. Please, Arthur. Will you help me? Uh... I'm sorry, Mary. I like Jamie, but you and me. After oh, all really? That's no, happened, it was timed. You're gonna have to find someone else to run your errand. Okay. No. Arthur. No, 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 I no, no. no. You. I miss you too. It's all in the past now. Take care of yourself. Sure. God damn it, I gotta move that stupid bar. No. God damn it. Okay, boy. That <sighs> I was actually gonna help her, but then play I realized didn't realise it was a timed one. That's the first time that's ever happened. I need to help Micah, which Sucks. Probably won't even be able to do a future marriage. Keep it going. Oh god, he was right in front of me too. Holy crap. Come taught you something.
Can I help you? Just taking a look. We're with the Appleseed Timber Company. Head foreman. We're still getting started on this site, but we should have some fine big valley lumber for sale. Be happy to pay a premium for them. Sell good. Appreciate it. That should help keep us going. Idiot. And we're here. Nice. Up here, side market. Ha! <laughs> yeah. Hello, sir. I've uh, I've come from Blackwater. I'm on the trail of a dangerous gang, Como Driscoll. Heard you had some sort of incident. We don't deal with bounty hunters around here, son. I, I was just wondering if I could get a description. Well, they weren't friends. They got in a fight, two men got killed. Now, one of them's an idiot, the other's some kind of dumb mix, so maybe them's your boys. You can look right enough when we hang them. Thank you, sir. Okay. Let me out of here, you maggots! Arthur! Arthur! <laughs> Hello, old friend. Had a good time, did you? <laughs> you gonna get me out of here? I ain't decided yet. Real funny. Oh, I ain't joking, cowpoke. I heard so much bluster out of your mouth these last six months. And now, I got an opportunity to watch you be silenced. Well, you gotta do something. Why? I always looked up to you, Arthur. Well, that's your first mistake. <laughs> Listen, there's one little problem. There's only one of me, and there's a whole town full of people wanting to see you swing. You got to do something, Arthur. Okay. Maybe that steam donkey over there still works. Yes. Hook that over the bars. See if you can pull them off. What a modern disaster this is gonna be. Just pull that lever. Come on. Pull, 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 pull. Pull the lever and get free. Get out of here, come on. What the hell are you doing? He wasn't O'Driscoll. Oh, great. I knew you were scum the moment I laid eyes on you.
Don't go that way. Let's get the hell out of here. I got some unfinished business. Trust me, Morgan. Trust you? You have finally lost your damn mind. Let's get out of here. Keep moving. God damn, mate. I should have left you to hang. We're in it now, Morgan. What do you want? Now, what? what the hell? What the hell? What is that crap? I was aiming at the dopey best. Send them all out. Come on. Everything you got. We should be long gone by now. They got something to mind. I ain't leaving without. Woman, like I said, I need to see someone. Skinny, get out here! Oh, God damn! Skinny! It ain't skinny, Micah. It's Norman. Oh. You always was a letdown, you fat sack of He's crap. Oh. Excuse me, a man at Arthur. Go, 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 go. I care about more than those guns. 
That much is clear. Who was that fella? Skinny? Yeah. We ran together for a while. Did a bank job down south. Didn't end well. I saw how it goddamn ended. He was gonna let me hang. I'm starting to wish I had. Oof. And you owe Lenny, too. If he hadn't found us in time... Yes, you will all be thanked profusely, I promise. Yeah, well, you're lucky Dutch has got your back. Some unknown reason. Easy, boy, you're okay. I think we finally lost him. Well, I hope so. I'm giving you a holster. My way of saying thank you. And thank you. There I was, having a dull day only for <sighs> you. To liven it up by letting Humble me help you shoot up half a town. <laughs> You're a funny fellow, Arthur. Real funny. <clears throat> why you act all sour all yeah, the time. Yeah, well, you ain't funny at all. So why you gotta act like the court jester? All right, listen. I'm sorry, but we're family now. Arthur, you and me. <clears throat> Sons of Dutch makes us brothers. <clears throat> Sometimes brothers make mistakes. Now I'm heading back to my little camp where I'm back of strawberry. Come see me. Maybe I can make things up to you. You ain't heading back to Dutch? No, I've been a bad boy, Arthur. I ain't seeing Dutch till I can bring him a peace offering. <clears throat> Bye now. Yeah! Enough. Okay. Fuck, I wear him, Polly. John Marston. What is she not have up? Nice. What's that first mission? Jeez. See what John needs help with. Can you? Please. I've been on the run for days now. Uh, if you could help me with these shackles, I, I just might have a chance. Easy enough. Oh! Oh, oh, yes. Yes! Perfect. Ah, thank you. Mm -hmm. I, I got no money to give you. Good morning, Arthur. 
Let's go talk to John. Let's go talk to John. Morning, Arthur. Good morning, Arthur. Morning, morning, morning. Hey, Arthur. What do you want? Uncle told me something about a train. <sighs> what did he say? Mary Beth overheard something about a train full of wealthy folk rolling down through Scarlet Meadows just south of the state border. Yes. You need help with it? I ain't even sure about doing it. Come on. At night, not too guarded, it's perfect. Nah, I ain't thought it through. <laughs> you know, stopping a train, you pain in the ass. Sure. But what if we could force a train to stop? <laughs> well, of course. We get a wagon full of something flammable, oil. Put it on the tracks. They see it. They know they either have to stop or die. Ain't no train driver wants to be cooked alive. That is kind of brilliant. <laughs> For you. <laughs> and that is a real idea. Again, I think that's the first the time you ever so had one of them. <laughs> Shut up. You <laughs> might be the first bastard to ever have half his brains eaten by a wolf and end up more intelligent. So we're doing it? Yeah, we're gonna need ammunition, guns, look real frightening, and some dynamite to open up the train. I'll get the supplies. Gotta head into town for Abigail anyway. Don't even ask. You go find us an oil wagon. Yeah, I know just the place. They're always heading into that refinery. There's an old rundown shack just over the border, north of a place called Dewberry Creek. Leave it hidden somewhere near there. Ah, right, that's right. We have to get to an oil factory. So we'll go to the, cl the closest one. We'll go there. Okay. Let's go. Mr. Morgan, can I ask you a favor? It, if it's convenient, I mean. Sure. If you're out on your adventures and you see any herbs for seasoning would you mind grabbing them for me season yes don't tell mr pearson <laughs> okay i'll see what i can do <laughs> uh, i have a horse over here good morning arthur Should be easy enough. Yeah. 
car is it? Really? Let's go! No one goes in front of me. Yes. Maybe on guard, but. Go. Save marker. Now how we jump. It's bounty, I guess. I better. <laughs> Second mission. Ugh. Let's go, boy. Yep. Got a bit of stuff hanging down these, I know. Easy. We've got Micah say we saved Micah. Just got the oil factory thing. We'll help rob this train and then I guess get the gun. Yeah. Arthur! Oh my glad I found you. Arthur! They got Bill. What? Who has it? Bounty men. I found their cam nearby. They got Bill tied up. I'm gonna go take care of it. Come on. Sloppy Bill. Yeah, well. All right, lead the way. It. So how'd you find it? You said he was going hunting. God damn Never it. returned. I was able to track him pretty easily. Only a matter of time before they decide to pick up camp and head 
for town to collect the bounty. Guess we're in shots again. When are we not, Arthur? Fair point. Right, boy. What'll Dutch do? Ain't for me to say. Doubt Bill will like it, whatever it is. There's a problem. We all know it. Is that for me to say? Yep, I think it is, Arthur. Oh, well, let's save his ass first. Worry about how to kick it later. Okay. Okay, we're getting close. There they are. On foot from here. Stake out your position. Bloody hell, Bill. What are you doing, buddy? What are you doing? Uh, oh. Oh. I owe you fellas for this. Damn right you do. Well, I'm gonna head back to camp. Find a bottle and nurse these bruises. Yeah. I'm headed to camp as well. Thanks, Arthur. Uh, what's next? I ain't get a break. Ten dollars <laughs> for a bounty. But then again, probably these times were probably ten dollars pretty good. Then there's a train track, so there might be a... Hey, let's go. Talk to John. Come on. Oh, man. We're free. We are alive. We'll go do this job and then we'll. John. Let's get on. Good. Hey, 40 you? minutes. We've done two. Got everything minutes. we need. Good. This will be the third one. I think we need another so we man. Save Mark, I got an old thing. I'll go get him. We're about to rob a, tr a train. We need to the wagon when you can. Sure. See you, Arthur. Ain't that dumb. Next time, let the wolves eat all your brain. Then you'll be a genius. <laughs> he thought it was funny. <laughs> Oh, there we go. Come, have a 
seat, Morgan. We're discussing Lady Bloomer. You know, thanks. Oh, it's a different way. Hi, Arthur. Come here a minute. What is it? <laughs> Can I ask you a favor? Probably not. <laughs> Very funny. Would you do something with Jack? He seems kind of down. All this upheaval can't have been easy on the poor kid. Why? Because I'm your preferred nursemaid? Because he likes you and, well, you know his father's useless. <laughs> okay. Thank you. <laughs> Okay. Let's go talk to Jack. Uh, this is where we go to take him fishing. Pretty good. Okay. I'm actually getting a bit hungry now, god damn it. <laughs> I won't eat until I finish this video. Hey Jack. What you up to? Playing. Anything fun? I guess. You want to come fishing with me? Fishing? Sure. You're. <laughs> it's about time that you started to earn your earn your keep. Okay. Good. Let's go get your pole in. Damn. What's the point of this thing? I suppose we can't hear very well. Now you do have a fishing pole, don't you? I sure do. Uncle Jose made me one. Good. Well, let's go get it then. Go catch huh. us some fish. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Come on, boy. You okay, boy? Good <laughs> horse. We got Jack. Do this marker because it's actually driving <laughs> down to the river near here. You shouldn't go too far from camp. Oh, okay. You feeling better? I know you was a little sick. Oh, I'm fine. You're a brave kid. So, <laughs> just like you. Well, I don't know about brave. I ain't much of a kid no more. Well, your mama might disagree. There are a few other women, I guess. What do you mean? Just talking silly. <laughs> Been a tough huh. few weeks up in that snow. I like the snow. Yes, but not like that. When are we going back to the other camp? The one near Blackwater? Yeah. Well, we're not. This is our spot. For now, anyway. Why? All right. This looks as good a spot as any. Give me his fishing rod. Where should we stand, Uncle Arthur? Down oh, by the shore. Come on, follow me. Yeah. Uh, fishing rod out. We need some bait. I'm gonna use some cheese. Cheese? Bellier the better. Now, cast your line. Swing the rod back over your shoulder and bring it forward in a smooth motion. Use your wrist, not your elbow. Like that? That's it. Good. All we do now, Jack, is wait for a fish to take the bait. How do I know when I've got a bite? Well, if you feel the tip of your fishing rod just twitching, don't yank it yet. That just means one's nibbling. You feel a hard tug. That's a fish going for the bait, so yank hard to hook it. Something's tugging at your rod, Uncle Arthur. Whoop, think I got one. I see, I see. There you go. Look, Jack, it's a bluegill. It's almost as small as you. We should really throw these smaller ones back. Give him a chance to grow up a bit. Can I take a break from fishing? I want to make something. Okay.
I'm gonna pick some of those red flowers. I'll be right back. See him fighting there, Jack? That's when you gotta be careful. You, you'll break the line. Best to wear him out first before you try to reel him in. Now, seems like he's taking a rest now. I'm gonna try reeling him in nice and steady. There we are. This Good one's a smallmouth bass. Not bad. One more. You got to stick at things, Jack. I know. Making sure it's boring, Uncle Arthur. I know. Boring as hell. But then, something happens. And you can get food for days. Really? If you're lucky. But until then, you just... Sit, wait, <laughs> try not to worry. It's good for you. It's good for you? I guess. <laughs> <laughs> I like the look of that spot. What are you making there? Milky. It's a surprise. And what? This necklace I made. Necklace? For Mama. Sure. What a fine young man. And in such complex circumstances. Arthur, isn't it? Arthur Morgan? Who are you? Yes. Arthur Morgan. Vanderlyn's most trusted Trusted associate. associate. You've read the files. Typical case. Orphan street kid seduced by that maniac silver tongue and matures into a degenerate murderer. Agent Milton, Agent Ross, Pinkerton Detective Agency, seconded to the United States government. Nice to finally meet. We know a lot about you. Do you? You're a wanted man, Mr. Morgan. There's $5,000 for your head alone. $5,000 for me? Can I turn myself in? We want Vanderlyn. Old Dutch. I haven't seen him for months. That's so? Because I heard a guy fitting his description robbed a train belonging to Leviticus Cornwall up near Granite Pass. Oh, ain't that a little old-fashioned nowadays? Apparently not. Listen. This is my offer, Mr. Morgan. Bring in Vanderlyn. And you have my word, you won't swing. Oh, I ain't gonna swing anyways, Agent uh, Milton. You see, I haven't done anything wrong, aside from not play the games to your rules. Spare me the philosophy lesson. <laughs> I've already heard it from Mac Callender. Mac Callender? He was pretty shot up by the time I got to him. So really, it was more of a mercy killing. Slow. But merciful. <laughs> you enjoy being a rich man's toy, dear. I enjoy society, flaws and all. You people venerate savagery, and you will die. Savagely, all of you. Oh, we're all gonna die, Agent. Some of us, sooner than others. Good day, Mr. Morgan. Goodbye. Enjoy your fishing, kid. While you still can. <laughs> Who are they? No one to worry about, no one at all. Come on, let's pick up your things and get home. Mm. Damn. It's getting late, Jack. Your mother would be worried. Let's head back. Okay, boy. Let's go. Third mission. Why did you lie about where Uncle 
Duchess. Because, well, because those are disagreeable men, and I don't want them to hurt him. What did they mean about Max? Is he in jail? Uh, no, I don't uh, think so. I hope he's just fine where he is. Like I said, don't worry about them. The world is full of disagreeable men. That's why you got all of us to protect you from folk like them. Now, how about that necklace you made? You still got it, right? Yeah, I got it. Good. Well, did you like fishing? It was okay, I think. Mm. It's a lot of waiting, waiting around. around. It is. There you are. How you boys getting on? Great. We caught a fish, and I made you this necklace. Ain't that pretty? Not the luckiest. Did you thank Uncle Arthur? No need. We had a good time. What's wrong? Nothing. Just met some folk. I better go speak with Dutch. Okay. Hey, you did real fine, kid. Thanks. We got a problem. What? I just met some guys out near the river. A fella named, um, Milton and, uh, I don't remember the other fella's name. Ross. Milton and Ross. And? and they are employees of the Pinkerton Detective Agency. And they know about the train and they know we're here. Were you followed back here? No. They know we're near here. And they want you, Dutch. They offered me my freedom in exchange, they did. Why didn't you take it? <laughs> Very funny. Well, what do we do now? I say we do nothing just yet. They're just trying to scare us into doing something stupid. We have turned a corner. We survived them mountains. We just need to stay calm. <clears throat> And move area <laughs> is what we need to do. As John in camp, yeah, no, it's not. Okay, go, John. Do this job. <laughs> It's either this episode or episode 5 will probably move to the next chapter, chapter 3. Sorry I haven't talked much everyone, um, I've been so focused on the game and all that. This, this game's a game that you sh really do need to focus on, um, and all that. So I do apologise if I'm not talking as much. Um, and that. Wait, what did that just say? Hey, Arthur. Yeah. 
probably should feed this horse. Job. Ah, shut up, Arthur. Yeah, your job's starting the fights. You ain't winning them. I can scrap, Arthur. I'm just not good at homework. I can see. Besides, what do you care, Englishman? You've got no time for me. I tried to find your work, but then you're off cutting jobs with other folks, and your boy Sean doesn't get a look in. Guess I don't want to get shot, that's all. Yeah, you're a real fucking funny shit, Arthur Morgan, huh? Real fucking funny. Calm down. You better sleep with your eyes open. Yeah, well, you're gonna sleep with your chest open if you ain't careful, boy. <laughs> I love you, Arthur Morgan. I love you. Come on, take a shot. Come on, take your best shot, please. Yeah? Grow up. And let me come on the raid with you. Raid? Don't be playing coy with me, son. It's unbecoming. That bloody train you and him has set up. What you're doing out here, you're going to need guns, you're going to need men. Oh, that. So Marston told you? It ain't a big show. Uh. I need calmness. If I take you, I might as well bring Micah along. Now compare me to that oily tort again. You're a dead man. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, Arthur, what's your problem uh, with me? Gold. In fact, don't tell me. I already well, know. Bad. You are threatened by sense. me. Threatened by you? Yeah, my youthful vigor. It intimidates you. Does it? It's a story as old as the hills. The changing of the guard, the fading of the light. You're toast, old man. Okay. And what are you? I'm the future, in all its glory. Oh, well, good luck. Good luck and shut up. <laughs> I want to get some rest before nightfall. Okay. <clears throat> Wake up, you lazy sir. What are you doing here, kid? I'm coming, John. On the job. I said you weren't coming. Yeah, well, Arthur says I am. And it's his party, boy, so come on, let's go. <laughs> Me and the big cheeses. Love it. Can't wait to slit some bastard's throat. You sure about this? No. <laughs> are we ready? Yeah. Train's due through tonight. All right, then. It's on. Charles? I'm ready. Gentlemen. Let's go. Let's go earn some money. Hey, all the horses untethered? I think so. Good. They should follow on behind us. You find a good spot, Wolfman? Yeah. Follow the trail southwest. There's a spot that's remote, but should still give them enough time to spot the oil wagon. They see this block in the tracks, they'll stop soon enough. Apparently. Picks up a new team of guards at the state line, so shouldn't be too much in the way of guns to deal with. See, this is what I mean. I disappear for a couple of weeks and you cut me out of all the action. Just the action that requires a brain. Ha ha ha. You're a funny fella, John Marston. From what folks say, you had your feet up the whole time playing sick and fondling that new scar like you're gonna buy a breakfast in the morning. They're left here, towards Rhodes. You don't know what you're talking about. Stay close on this. Wouldn't want you getting scratched by a squirrel or something. That could put you out of commission for the rest <laughs> of the year. Why do you have to speak so much? It's incessant. Plus, I've still got some blood in me veins. You old bastards oh have forgotten how to live. I blame you two for rescuing them. Far too much trouble for what we got out of it. Yeah, takes a whole army of bounty hunters to bring in Sean McGuire. And look at me now, in the gutter sea, <laughs> back in business, boys. <laughs> you know, my dad always used to say, Not the top, no, please. Not this oh. again. Fine, 
Damn you, tree! Sulky, angry, scare face. A right barrel of laughs. Oh, God. So, we blocked the tracks with the wagon, then jumping. That's the plan. Pretty much. Charles, you deal with the engineer. John, secure the passenger car fast. Here's good. Stop the wagon over the tracks. Remember, these are innocent folks. We hit. There we go. Mr. Marsh, Mr. Smith, Mr. McGuire, get over there. When she slows, order. And you? I'm gonna make sure she slows. I'll do or die with you. <laughs> I like it. Get moving. Yeah, let's rob a train. Twice a chance of hitting someone. <laughs> Very funny. <laughs> Looking good in here. Oh. Oh. Gonna have a right out lump on me head. At least you ain't got a hole in it. I don't. And this racket's in there. Harsh bastard. Just keep your eyes peeled. Why you deal with me, Beck? All right. I know. We got to need some money. 
We'll take that. Some gold. We should probably be going now. Come on, we should get out of here. Arthur, we've got a problem. There's two arseholes on horses. How many you say? Oh, I just see a pair of them. Uh, in that case, we're fighting. Horst Smith! Get ready. The men come out the train now, do you hear? Mm-hmm. I hear. The men come out now. There's only two of you, you fools. We got a whole lot less to lose. Why don't the two of you ride away? That way neither you get killed. Goddamn liberties. Eh? There's a few more of them torn up. Man, my big mouth. Okay. Let's deal with them. Last chance. Fun boys, real fun. We can see what they call you the professionals in the outfit. Shut <laughs> up. At least we made some money. Hey, yeah, what did I get? Gotta be a hundred dollars here. Very nice. You weren't even invited. <laughs> what now? <laughs> we still need a real big take. Enough for us to get out of here. Was that a setup? Law turned up real fast. I don't know. I don't think so, but I'm starting to get nervous. Think they followed us from Blackwater? Maybe. They found me already near Horseshoe, but I think this lot was just locals. I hope so. I'm gonna head into Valentine, see if I can get something started there. Good idea. Either way, we should all go it alone right now. You know the deal. Don't be followed. Uh, of course not, boss. Yeah. Um... Head to the post office first. Get there first. Pay what I've found in me. Yeah. Easy. I might feed this horse. Good job! Yeah. Yeah, 
here. I think probably by the time we get to the next mission. That's four missions in this left. Um, so we did, we saved Micah. We... Um, so we saved Micah, helped John get the oil thing on the tracks, uh, oil thing, then we just did the train robbery and we've helped Jack. So, that's four missions, that's pretty good. But, right now I kind of want to, I kind of do just want to go and just pay this bounty. Bounties, shall I say? <coughs> and then we'll probably end the episode after that. But might be in tomorrow's episode um, that I actually get to do. Something. I actually might end up going to chapter three next. Um, Oh really? John's come up. Hang on, let's check that. Let's check that. <coughs> um, John told you to, he was trying. Okay, we'll do that next next episode. I don't wanna again. I wanna go and um, do that. I am. How far is it to go there, though? Like, oh God, is there a? Oh, there is. Actually, we must go here. Go here. Might be a shorter trip. And yeah, <coughs> pay bounty, but I might. I'll save it then. I finished my episode. What a um, it sucks that I um didn't end up getting to do that Mary mission. I really it, it's one of the, it was one of those decision things to make where it was timed unfortunately, but um yeah. So we'll go up here. know what to say thanks I guess you've done me a service hey look the stage company's gonna write this off as a robbery anyway if you can get in that lockbox you can take what you want from it it ain't stealing if it's already stolen got that right <laughs> okay Oh yeah, no, no, get off, please, dude. Why would you? <sighs> okay. Okay. Food, and that's it. Okay. 
Okay. Save that guy's life. and um, I'll save it here and um, in the video so um, <coughs> you're all right boy <sighs> since I have this first all the oil I'll go pay this bounty off. Bounties. I don't know how many I've got, but or how much money I've got, but <coughs> welcome. How do you do? Costing you a pretty penny to repay your debt. Oh god. We'll make sure New Hanover gets word of this. Okay. Okay, pay the bounty. That's pretty good. Really? Okay, so I'm gonna save it here. Okay, so the missions we did. What do we do exactly? So I remember. So we d saved Micah. We were going supposed to do the Mary mission, but that never happened, unfortunately. Um, so we saved Micah. We then talked to John so and got the oil wagon and put. So he stole an oil wagon. We then took Jack fishing. And then we just robbed a train with the oil wagon. So we've done pretty well. We've done four missions, and that is good for this episode. We the, we are exactly an hour and 19 minutes, at least 20 minutes in. So that's a pretty decent episode. Um, I'm going to end it here. Um, I reckon I probably would have had five missions done. I don't know if I if I did the Mary mission, that wouldn't have taken me long. But you know, but um, yeah. So. Alright everyone, um, end this episode here, um, if you like this video, give it a thumbs up, um, also in the book in the description, you know, there's a link to my Twitch, um, right on my Twitch account, I'm to go to, um, go to my Twitch and play if you want to, and I hope you do, please support me and follow me on Twitch. I am trying to do like stream every day. So um with that um also please go support me on YouTube, so please subscribe to my channel, turn on the notification bell and yeah, um and that's about it. Um so we have forward every day and great night. Thank you.